Many of the problems we face today, are they caused by what happened to us in the womb? I would venture yes, based on all my studies and scientific research shows that the environment between zero and nine months affects hugely the well-being of the baby and the adult and how the adult turns out. Did you have parents who were fighting when you were a baby? Did your parents split up when you were a baby? Did one of your parents, did you maybe your father leave when you were a baby? Were you adopted? Did your mother experience tremendous anxiety or depression? Was your mother an angry person? Was your father an angry person? Were there big fights? Was there a lot of alcohol and drugs? All this is influencing the development of a baby in the womb. And once you understand this, you realize that many of the challenges you may be experiencing as an adult, emotional challenges, have come from your experience in the womb. Now, fortunately, there is a way to work through these things. There is a way to uh, curtail the reptilian brain the emotional responses from your reptilian brain, which is that fight, flight, and freeze response. Now, it's important to understand this. Just remember this. Take a note. And you can write this down. That the emotional disposition that you're born with, notice how parents say that children are different. Every one of their children is different. Why? My theory is because the experiences when the child was in the womb was different each time. Was it the firstborn? The second child? Were maybe the, parent, the parents were more financially... Uh, stable, the third child, maybe the relationship is, is very steady, and so on. It just the, the order that children are born does also affect their emotional well-being or their emotional development. Now back to being the, those, uh, the, the damage that is done in the womb or what we could say is damage. So what happens is if you're a hyper-anxious, if you're a very anxious person, then that's likely because it's a survival mechanism. Your reptilian brain is, is predisposed to super anxiety because of the anxiety perhaps that your mother was experiencing while you were in the womb. And the way to work through this is, yes, you can work through these the subconscious uh, triggers that are generating, triggering your reptilian brain to continually go into overdrive and hyper anxiety. You can work through those things through stuff that I do. Another way to do it is that you find a therapy that takes you back into the womb and there are many different courses of therapy, therapy that you can take that can take you back to the womb and it can actually heal that emotional well-being of the baby in, in the womb, working through those unconscious blocks and, and problems in the womb. So there's many ways and means to work through this. Taking Just taking medication in order to subdue the reptilian brain, to subdue those uh, symptoms of anxiety and, and stress that you go through is not really dealing with the causes of the problem and the causes for most for many adults I'm not saying all adults but for many adults is, is from what happened in the womb wouldn't it be great if you were just born with loving loving parents who had all that they needed in terms of food and finances and and stability and work and the world was a peaceful place there wasn't world wars going on there wasn't great depressions going on that the world was just a harmonious place when you were in the womb from zero to nine but the problem is that the world probably wasn't a harmonious place when you're in the womb. We, we, the, we still have the baggage of a couple of world wars, the Vietnam War, Korean War, uh, Gulf War, Afghanistan Wars, and the effect they have on our society at large and on our parents. So that's how it works. That There's definitely a relationship between your experiences in the womb and how you turned out as an adult. And the good news is that you can take charge of these emotional responses. You can heal this. You absolutely can. Love is the great healer and forgiveness is the great healer of yourself and others. You can do this. But when we send me a message, if you'd like to know more about what I do, because this is what I do is working with people in their healing, uh, mind, body, and spirit. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.